Thank Hi. you for coming here yeah, today, thank Jan. Uh, thank, thank you for coming here. to the Audio Experience. What has been, because you've been coming to the Audio Experience for a couple of years now, what has been your experience coming here? What is the added value that uh, this Congress brings to you? Um, well, indeed, I think it's very interesting to, to be here. You see a lot of people, you meet a lot of international companies. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people are using Odoo in a commercial way uh, for the paying uh, licenses. Mm -hmm. A lot of great guys doing a lot of things for the community who are really passionate about the technology. And I think it's really great. Okay. Um, so have you met some nice guys here? Uh, have you been able to create some partnerships? Yeah. Yeah, even though uh, last year I met uh, a few guys from uh, Lithuania and they were really passionate about how they approached uh, projects and mm -hmm. uh, uh, did business uh, over there. And they were looking for uh, well, a collaboration uh, to work together with uh, Belgian partners. And meanwhile, we have uh, made a joint venture, Honestus Komitor. So we're working together and we're joining forces for, uh, for bigger projects. An honest company and a committed company. Perfect That's right. Match. It's all do, right. <laughs> Lovely. And in the meantime, you're building a bridge between East and West. Yeah. What has been the advantage doing so? Well, the major advantage is when we're talking to uh, small and medium-sized companies in Belgium, mm -hmm. they want to uh, use uh, resources internationally and they want to use freelancers and, and people uh, who are working uh, outside Europe and working with Python uh, development. Mm -hmm. And thanks to this bridge that we have built between Comito and Honestus, they can sign a contract with a Belgian company and we can uh, take care of the project management, the project responsibility and all the financial uh, issues. And uh, that's very great. And uh, for Honestus it's also very great because they're building up a great team uh, in Vilnius. And uh, this way they have a bridge as well to uh, a lot of uh, Western uh, European companies, uh, countries uh, where they can work uh, together on, uh, on great projects. And, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a growing team, uh, it's a great team that Valos is building up and uh, we're really happy that we met them here last year. So, okay. voila. so and if we would say, because um, there's a lot of companies also that do development in other countries, we're talking about India, maybe uh, in, in Northern Africa as mm -hmm. well, but what is the advantage of dealing with a Lithuanian company instead? Uh, the advantage is that uh, regarding, uh, with all due respect for every culture and whatsoever, uh, I worked with uh, international companies before, but uh, regarding uh, uh, culture, when things go wrong, if you have a problem in the project, if you have escalation, mm -hmm. uh, the immediate way to, to speak to each other, uh, the way that we communicate via WebEx and via Skype, uh, to work something out, experience and has learned me that uh, working with, uh, with, uh, with guys from Lithuania is just uh, it's just uh, one step away from here and it feels very comfortable doing yeah. that. Uh, when things go right, everybody can do a big project, but when things go wrong, that's where you make a difference. And that's when you need a similar mindset to, able yeah. to be able to yeah. tackle these uh, Yeah, these that's issues. right. And that's what we found out here on the Odoo Congress, yeah. uh, just uh, here at the coffee booth, uh, learning to know each other last year, and uh, it started out uh, really great. So. I look forward to continue our partnership yeah, uh, with Yeah, me too, Stefan. Looking and forward uh, to it. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. Have a good day, Jan. Okay, thank you.